Uh huh. Yeah. I just made it up. Oh, you did. So I just made the story up. But I can write it for a real book. So I'll know it in the book. How to build a rotisserie? No, no. How to buy one? Oh. Okay. How so, much lemonade to sell and all that kind of stuff. How many glasses of lemonade do you think you'd have to sell to buy a room? Mama, let's just start the story. Okay, start the story. And hey everyone, and welcome back. Uh, if you watched the video I put up last week, uh, I mentioned that we're going to be back on Old Pickle today. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've had some real good help over the last couple of days, and the kind of help that you get nothing done, but you can't say no. That kind of help. <laughs> So uh, he's been uh, out here with me. I'll play some clips and footage of that. Uh, he's been out here helping me, my five-year-old son. And uh, you just don't get anything accomplished. But I can't take this anymore. I can't work with it being that messy. And I've just decided that I don't like the way that I braced that up. So I'm going to take that out. But in order to do that, we've got to make a different type of brace. And I've come up with a different plan. So I've, sometimes when you're working on things like this, you sleep on them and then you come up with a different plan. So we're going to get this kind of braced up like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then this is super thin stuff. So it's going to want to pull away. So I'm going to weld a piece from here to here. So, uh, yes, sir. Well, that's... I, I need this put behind here. I need to go up there. All right, let me see what I can do. But you have to keep it up there. Let me see what I can do. You have to keep it up there so I can get down. Okay. I rest my case. So I'm going to work on, it'll be spotty, I'm sure, in my film ability, just because I'm jumping back and forth. I don't know how much I will get filmed of this, but kind of the gobbledygook in the background that I had uh, braced up here first, these braces here, I want to get rid of. I can't work very well back in there. I can't make a good pattern. And I really just, it's in my way. And so I am actually going to move my bracing out to this bar here which is the support bar on my rotisserie and uh, brace the frame up that way and then go down to the bottom one and kind of tie the two of them in that'll give me this entire distance here to work and I don't know if you can really see how far that is but it's a lot further than what I would be doing up here it gives me a lot more manipulation room and I think it'll be a lot better for us. Uh, someone also mentioned that you shouldn't be doing the framing in pieces. Well, I'm going to. It's going to be, at a minimum, this piece here and this piece here. Because that's the way Volkswagen did it. Right there's the, the factory weld. So we'll be going to that point at least. So let me get some of this braced up. And I'll turn you back on when I get a chance. And I'm going to try to do them both today. And then maybe we can get a paper doll made up here before we get that cut out. You've seen welding and cutting before, so I'm not going to show you too much of that. All right, let's get going. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Did you get it? I did. Okay, so what we're going to do is make, we need to cut. I got caught on it again. Oh, be careful over there. Well, unweld it. Can you unweld it already? Okay. I think this that's time I didn't hit it. Mom, do you... So I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna melt it right here and kind of, kind of like right here. Mm -hmm. I did that for you. Okay. Wait, let me make it go all the way down like the other one. Did you make my grind mark over there? What grind? How far we're gonna grind? Make me a mark right here. That's where we're putting, we're gonna grind the frame right there, okay? There. Yeah. All right, now make me a mark down, not mark down. And then we'll put a big X right here, because that's where we're going to scribble on it. That's where we're going to grind, all that right there. Mm-hmm. You got it? That's as best as I can do. Okay, that works. 
So now we need to go modify our little uh, piece here. I got that first one in there coming back and I just tacked it. Don't touch that, that's hot. I just tacked it right right there against uh, this brace bar so that if it does, my big fear, just about lost it. My big fear is I'm gonna fall over backwards tripping over the grinder. <laughs> my big fear is that when I cut it up here, cut the frame up there, the whole bus is gonna wanna kinda collapse down. Uh, but this is one of those projects I just didn't feel without a rotisserie we could really even feasibly do it. But the the awesome thing about what the rotisserie has forced me to do is kind of think about things differently. If this bus was just sitting on the ground like my double cab and we braced up some bracing underneath and then we just used cribbing to raise it and then I weld it underneath, structurally you really can't see what you're working on. And this has also forced me to think about things differently as far as gravity is concerned because the whole bus is going to want to kind of pivot this way. So it's kind of a unique uh, think outside the box experience for me. It's really caused me to have to think about how I'm working on things completely different. And I, I like learning new things. So this is, uh, this is an experience that I, I am thoroughly enjoying. On the other videos I've mentioned, I'll mention it again. It's not going to kick out too far because I've got these, I don't know if you can see them or not. I've got a track that's kind of run up in the rain gutter. So it's going to want to kick this way if it kicks any way at all. And it's got a support system there. So it's hopefully not going to want to do that too badly. But I'll carry on bracing that piece up. It's super stout. It's, it's, it's actually added quite a bit of strength to just the rotisserie itself. So I think that's going to work for us. And it'll just make my life a lot easier. This is just messy. I just can't, I don't know that I can work in that. And so I was planning to cut a little section, make a paper doll, trace that back over to a pattern, cut the next section, not weld them back in so much as take each section and slice it out and kind of see what popped and cracked. But this, the way I'm doing this, and ironically, this is that piece that I cut uh, from the bus right here. There was a piece of U-channel, this heavy-duty stuff here, and that's what came out. That's what came out of right there. So I took that piece, and I'm basically making it, because it's U-channel, I can lay it up on the, on the brace, and I can put it down here as well on this one. So that's working out pretty well. I'll carry on with making a piece. I'm going to have to angle this one kind of up a little bit to come to my support rail here, my support bar. And then I'm going to have to lay in a piece of filler rod right there to make sure I strengthen that up all the way. That's the only side on this that's not welded. Just that little brace I put in there. So I think that's going to work out. We'll find out when we cut that sucker out of there. So I'll cut at the factory weld here and we're going to have to piecemeal it again. All of this is on one of the other videos, but we're going to have to piecemeal it right back in here. Because I am not going to make all of that again. One, I don't have to, and two, I just can't. I can't turn all that unless I make it, you know, each piece and fold it over. And there's really no need. It's not bad there. So I'll make my piece kind of come up and around, go around, around that torsion tube. We'll come around here, and I'll have to stop it around, about right here. That's where my bracing is. I think that'll work out if we just kind of marry it in right there. And I'll go ahead and probably leave what is not rotted. There's a patch here I'll have to cut out, but I'll leave what is not rotted right there. And we'll flip the bus the other way and we'll weld that from the inside. That has a cover on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right down there you can see there's a there's like a piece of metal they've used to cover the inside of that. So we'll put that piece back, but this side has that and we're going to cut it out. So I think that's going to work out pretty well. <laughs> it feels really, really strong. And I just, I think, I think I'm going to be happier with that. Much better than, than all of this. It's basically just going to drop the bus down. I'm lowering the bus, I guess. <laughs> or jacking it up. I guess I'm jacking it up. But I think I'm going to be happy with that for sure. And we'll uh, we'll carry on. I'll bring you back when I when I have this piece here, kind of welded in place. All right, I've got that all done. Not my prettiest 
well job, but it'll it'll hold what we need it to hold. And I ended up going back to the torsion tube all the way. There's a big glob of, well, I cut it with a plasma cutter and there was a bunch globbed out, so I just left it. I figured it was raw steel, so I'd go to that. But that allowed me to have one extra brace, so I've got this one going as well. If I dropped it down a little bit. And I don't think that's going to affect this at all. I could only, I wanted to go as close as I could, but yet get my welder in and I couldn't get all the way back. So on the other side, I just welded it from the bottom. So that brace is in. I just need to build one uh, for the bottom section down here. And then we'll put a, probably two supports between those two just to keep it from flexing. And then I can cut out. All that garbage and everything will be moved back towards us give us a lot more working space in there and I think I'm gonna be a lot happier with that so this section is what we're gonna cut out and I'd initially planned to cut let it pop crack do whatever it's gonna do cut and then make this whole piece um, I guess you trust your rotisserie build or you don't right <laughs> So we're going to see what happens with it. I think that's going to work out fine. And then when we go up here to the front, once we strengthen up the back, we jump up to the front. It's pretty weak, but once our back part is strong, we'll be able to work we'll be able to work our way this way with knowing that this part is good and solid. So let me go ahead and jump down here on the uh, bottom section and we'll get that one tacked up. I don't know which way I'll weld the U-channel. I might just let gravity work with us and put it down this way. I don't know. We'll see what we've got going on. But yeah, I did cut that one piece out so we could get the support piece in. And it didn't pop or jump or carry on, so I think we're braced up pretty good as of right now. So we get these two pieces, you know, this big U brace here kind of attached to the big U brace down here. We should be sitting pretty. That's why sometimes I like to sleep on things. Sometimes the next day you have a fresh perspective and you kind of make a better plan. I like this plan a lot better. All right, let me get busy. I wanted to make sure that section I just welded was strong enough to hold me. I'm about 160. And I can jump up and down on it. So I think that'll do just fine. And there's really nothing to hold on to up here. Except for the rotisserie earring. Yeah, I think that'll work. Nice view of the garbage down there. What do you think? Craziness? I think it's craziness. Nice view, huh? As I'm getting down, there's my view from the top of Old Pickle. Little double cab. And yes, for all those of you who have been asking, I keep a fire extinguisher out here. Well, I'm out of U-Channel. I'm going to go to my, my dad's and see if he's got any more or go to the salvage yard and grab some of it. It's something they keep on hand, so I should be able to grab enough of that few little scrap pieces to go from there to there. Uh, if not, there's a metal place up in Martinsville, not too far from me, that I can get some drops from. And so I can probably grab just enough to do that, and we will call it good. So with that, everyone, I don't know if I'll drop the video or, sp or end the video here, or if I will uh, pick you back up when I get some metal. But for now, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time. I will say my new cap that I made, my denim cap, is working out fantastic. I always wear a hat in the shop to keep the debris and metal shavings out of my hair if I can, but I always have a bun in the back and so a welding cap to turn around backwards doesn't work out too well. So I made one that has a soft flexible bill so that when I put my welding hood on or my welding helmet on it just bends right in its place where it needs to go. So that works out great. A little flexible cap on there. I put a pencil holder on it too. So it's working out great. I like it. Need a few little tweaks, but other than that, it's good.
rotisserie. Toy truck and his rotisserie? Yeah, look, that rhymes. Look, toy truck and his rotisserie. Is this going to be your road up here? Yeah. Okay. And the book starts like this. Once upon a time, there was a little red truck. And? And he was going past the tire store. And he saw rotisserie in the window. And he, he wanted to make sure he had enough money to buy it. To buy the rotisserie? But, but his dad said he didn't have enough. So what did he do? Did he just make his own? No. He sold lemonade to make enough money. <laughs> then he bought the rotisserie. The end. The end. That's a good story. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> I, I saw it in the bookmobile when we went to get the new tractor Mac. Oh, you did? And it said toy truck in his little toy truck in his rotisserie. I didn't know they had books about rotisseries in the library. Oh my. Oh my. I saw it in the bookmobile. In the bookmobile. Mom, do you want you want to hear another story? There's two. There's a second story? Yes. Man. <laughs> Whip it on me. Mom, it. it's a movie, not a book. Oh, it's a movie? Yeah. What's the movie about? Well, I... Mama? Uh-huh. Yeah. I just made it up. Oh, you did? So... I just made the story up. I can write it for a real book. Well, why don't you tell me what it is? I can make it to a real book. There's two. I can make. Mom, there's only five. There's only ten books. Man, who's oh. who is your illustrator for those books? I am. Oh, so you're the illustrator and the author? Yes, I'm showing. I'm showing people the. The program, the program that I'm showing people in real life, so they'll know it in the book. How to build a rotisserie? No, no, how to buy one. Oh, okay. How so, much lemonade to sell and all that kind of stuff? How many glasses of lemonade do you think you'd have to sell to buy a rotisserie? Mama, let's just start the story. Okay, start the story. And Lil... And little truck, the <clears throat> little the little red truck was driving down the road with his rotisserie. Look, Mama, he was driving down the road with his rotisserie, and once it broke down, so he had to get gas. But there was no gas, so he had to go all the way back to get gas. I don't think I'd want to drive down the road in a rotisserie. That could be dangerous, especially on this one. Mama, uh -huh. it's a rotisserie that moves on wheels. Oh, well, this one moves on wheels, but I wouldn't want to drive it. Mama, Yeah. car wheels. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Can you move these tools so I can finish the story? Yeah. <laughs> and little... <clears throat>
What? That's the piece I'm working on. It's going to be the bridge. But you're in my way. It's going to be the bridge. This needs to be a bridge? Yeah. No, <laughs> the piece underneath it. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get anything done today. The other way. Okay, I'm gonna go do some grinding. Are you good up there? 